When are we going to start holding women accountable for blatant lies? When are we going to start holding females accountable for destroying a man's career off of blatant lies? Okay, so this NBA W former WNBA player Keezer claims Kevin Porter Jr. never hit her. This is according to the NBA Central now Dunk Central on Twitter. He didn't hit me. He never balled his fist up and hit me. And he definitely didn't punch me in the face numerous times. This is a lie. I don't have any injuries to support that. And this is according to the New York Post. Continuing on with the article from the New York Post. Rockets uh, Rockets, ex, Rockets guard uh, Kevin Porter Jr.'s ex-girlfriend denies he strangled, beat her in NYC Hotel. Houston Rockets guard, now former Houston Rockets guard, ex, uh, Kevin Porter's ex-girlfriend has vehemently denied allegations that the NBA player relentlessly beat and choked her during a fight in their Big Apple hotel room, telling the Post on Tuesday it's not true. Former WNBA player Kizer, 26, set the record straight a day after Manhattan prosecutors dropped one of the charges against Porter, admitting the pro baller didn't break the then girlfriend's neck at September 11th Midtown Hotel beatdown. And Ken continues quotes: "My injuries don't support any of those claims," Kizer said in an exclusive interview, adding that the Manhattan DA's office and cops were to blame for the inaccuracies. Again, quotes that she said, he didn't hit me. He never balled his fists up and hit me. And uh, Kieser assisted. I don't know how you pronounce her last name, by the way. And he definitely didn't punch me in the face number of times. That is a lie. I don't have any injuries to support that. Kieser also shot down claims that Porter had history of abusing her. Confirmed she is no longer dating the hoop star. Not noting she hasn't been in contact with him since his arrest because of a protective order protective order was only lifted monday porter 23 slapped with a slew of assault charges last month after the prosecutor says that he left keezer with a fractured vertebrae in the wake of the alleged attack at the four star millennium new york hotel continuing on uh, but assistant da maria conceded during a hearing in manhattan criminal court on monday that the injury which has since been determined to be a contingent defect wasn't actually caused by the NBA star. As a result, the DA's office said it was tossing Porter's second degree assault charges because of insufficient evidence. Prosecutors have said that Keezer told cops Porter struck her multiple times with close fist, leaving her with an inch long gash above her right eye. Now here's the thing, we've never ever seen a picture at least i haven't seen a picture of keezer's injuries we never seen a picture of that gash above her eye now and again now all of a sudden she wants to come out and said no this never happened it's not true he never put his hands on me did she not know that her allegations might have just ruined this man's career might have jeopardized this man's ability to play a basketball in the nba again because not to mention the houston rockets in the wake of these allegations just traded kevin porter to the okc thunder in which he's going to be waived by them immediately for victor oladipo jermaine robinson and i think uh the okc got a couple of second or first round draft picks and in the wake of okc waving porter once the deal is finalized they're gonna have to pay him 16.9 million dollars of his guaranteed money now she just cost that man possibly cost that man his nba career this is going to be kevin porter's third team in the last what four and a half five years he was on the cleveland cavaliers that didn't work out they ship out to houston now they ship out to okc he's going to be a free agent once okc waves him this is what we try to tell men and females females need to be start being held accountable for their lies that could damage a man's not only career reputation but his ability to live everybody on social media wanted to come out and cancel this man label him as a woman abuser when it came to found out that she was lying about the whole issue now something had to change now i'm gonna I'm play devil's advocate was she paid by him under the table to say hey listen i need you to switch this up because you fucking up my money and maybe she came and changed her heart who knows 
but this these are very serious allegations you don't play about somebody's life this man could spend serious serious time in prison if it came out to be true that he beat her and caused her to break her damn neck females need to start being held accountable and when i mean being held accountable they need to start getting jail time for false accusations we have seen this time and time again jonathan majors a recent big name celebrity who was falsely accused by his ex that he beat her in a, in a domestic violence situation and it turned out it never happened she flat out came and said that wasn't true or i believe the police officers that did their investigation and said that that wasn't true it was one of the two but the main thing is that she lied and her lie caused jonathan majors to lose out roles in movies sponsorships dropped him advertisement dropped him it cost him a lot of dollar signs that he will not be able to get back what is her repercussion we don't know who the fuck she is she gets to continue to live her life while jonathan majors is trying to recoup the money he lost based off lies told by this woman females need to start being held more accountable for the bullshit and the false accusations that they say towards a man this is why men have way more to lose in the marriage and in a relationship than females do and this is why you start to see a lot of men are not really dating or pursuing women especially in today's age because this is the bullshit that they have to deal with men don't want to deal with that shit especially marriage too you get married it don't work out oh he hit me he beat me i want half your stuff why no man wants to go through that again i'm trying to i'm not trying to switch topics here but you get the correlation men do not want to put themselves in that situation all because the female is bitter and you know what the, what they say the great quote is misery loves company like continuing to read off the stuff of the new york post so we're gonna go to page about four uh porter then allegedly forcibly squeezed her neck with his hands which caused her to experience difficulty breathing redness and bruising to her neck and substantial pain the criminal complaint against him states the alleged beating again this is alleged which came out to be false by her only ended with keezer who used to play for the indiana favors in chicago sky fled the room and was found bloodied and bruised by hotel employees in hall prosecutor says now again we did not see an image keezer however claimed that the da's office didn't wait to interview her or get access to her full medical records before releasing details of her alleged attacks and her injuries it happened very fast not to the degree of what it was reported she told the post on tuesday and it was an argument that occurred in the room for not only 10 seconds prosecutors were informed of her wounds only after a cop over her doctors discussing possible causes of her injuries as she was being treated at the hospital keezer said we have been given them we have given them numerous opportunities to come clean and fix false information but they have yet to do so keezer said to the da's office my promise my privacy or my relationship shouldn't be publicized to catapult careers her lawyer robert edmund added that they both uh liaison with the da's office in recent re recent weeks excuse me to clarify the record um asked if she plans to try and reconcile porter kaiser said i'm not in a position to make that decision right now i'm just trying to defend my truth and ultimately get my life back and protect my security translation it's a bunch of bullshit in my opinion again playing out devil's advocate did he possibly pay her under the table to change her story if this alleged domestic violence was to be true maybe but again you're dealing with a very serious charge in the united states domestic violence is not taken you know is taken very seriously so for you to come out and say that just because you were bitter you were angry at him shows how evil and vindictive women are and they need to be held to the same standard if not an even higher level of accountability because her comments her allegations might have jeopardized this man's career and a lot of money for himself and his future family let me know what you guys think about this whole kevin porter keezer situation whose side are you on do you agree with my comments do you agree with her leave a comment down below smash like button, subscribe to the channel and i will catch you guys on the flip side deuces